Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we're looking at Warhammer Quest on the iPad. So currently I think it's second on the, the charts at the moment over in the UK. Um, I think it's 2 99 and it's just up there right at the top. So yeah we're going to have a look at it see what it's like. Um, I haven't played it but it seems to be getting a lot of uh, downloads so let's see what it's all about then. I have actually named my character and that's it though. So yeah, you can see there, uh, played no time at all, so see, I was hoping to do a tutorial, but that doesn't seem to be there anymore, but hopefully we will, because I haven't got a clue. So, okay then, so this is the little map, I think, uh, so it's like a kind of chess system, I'm sure there's people out here who've played this and are looking at it and thinking, what the hell are you doing? Unfortunately, I am going to be that guy. Okay, yeah, so we just got to move the character across. So this is your tutorial then, yeah? Snortling, oh, snotlings. Lovely. I wonder what they do. Oh. Attacked by, alright then. You little bastards. Alright, let's have these then. Oh, simple as. Your character sheet shows how attacks perform per turn. Once you attack, you can no longer move. Now attack again. Okie doke. Have it. Your warrior has no more attacks to make his turn. Alright, yeah. So that's an end of the turn. Oh, business. Nah. Oh, it's turn. So yeah, it's turn based. I'll finish off these pets maybe once you attack you can no longer move. Okay, so I'm gonna have him. Double tap him. Ooh, a bit of damage. I'll finish off here. Can I not have him then? I mean once you attack you can no longer move and you can only attack your neighbouring enemies. I don't have no neighbouring enemies. Oh end turn. Right, have him. It's quite good actually, I like how it works. It looks like there is a lot to it though. Uh, new weapon at your stash hold. Oh, so if we turn this portrait, apparently we'll be able to access our stash. Let's have a look then. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, swap that for that. Swap that. Oh, okay, so we can't do that. Oh, it's because it's a long sword. Yep, we'll do that then. Right, off we go on our journey. Continue, right. Yep, very Games Workshop like. Well, no real surprise seeing as it's off the Games Workshop. Continue through the dungeon, don't forget the end of your turn. Okay, well, I'd like to go through there. Apparently I can't. Oh yeah, I can now. Yeah, it's part of the Games Workshop franchise, so yeah, no surprise really. Night Goblin. Let's have him then. Not a problem. Badly wounded and surrounded by enemies. Better get him back then. At the stash. So where is he? Where am I? Oh, we're oh, that's me there. <laughs> oh, okay. Can't do anything now. I'd rather him have me. No. Oh, phew. Oh, I need to heal him. Nah, forget healing him. I can take these on. Not a problem. Really should have helped, healed him though, really. Okay, so your warrior's been given bandages. Select your warrior and tap on the bandages. Oh, there you go. Any more? Well, I've already finished them off, so that's not a problem.
and turn. Oh, they can go quite far then. Come on then, orcs. Getting into it now. Can I actually attack him? Yes, I can. Oh, how embarrassing. I won't miss on this one. Oh. Brilliant. So how, many, how many attacks do I get? Brilliant. Your, your Winds of Magic is displayed with your wizard's character sheet. And you'll swipe up on the Spells tab. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay then, guys. I think we'll wrap it up there. I hope that gave you an idea, kind of feel for what the game's like. Quite enjoyable, to be fair. I think I'll play a bit more myself, and then maybe we'll come back with a little Let's Play on it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.